for your interest in Kapow software. In this video, I'll be demonstrating web content migration into Oracle UCM. The Kapow Catalyst Extraction Browser can extract documents and content, including metadata, from files, database systems, websites, digital asset management systems, and CMS servers. The documents and metadata are organized into an intermediate database. Using the Extraction Browser, the documents and folders, including the metadata, can be uploaded directly into Oracle UCM using the website user interface. This is the Kapow Catalyst design environment. The first step of the content migration process is to do an inventory of the website. The steps of the inventory robot up above were created simply by interacting with the website in the Extraction Browser. This robot loads each page of the website into the Extraction Browser and then uses the For Each URL step to loop through the website and find each URL on the page. The steps that follow extract the URL from the website and then validate that the URL belongs to the current domain. The content type of the link is also extracted and saved into the database. So after the inventory robot is run, we'll have a database table of all the URLs that make up the website. This represents our to-do list for our content migration. This is the first of two extraction robots. This one's fairly simple. There's no visual component. We're simply going to query the inventory database that we just created and find all of the URLs for the resource files such as the PDF files, JPEGs, etc. We're going to save all those files to the local hard drive and then store the location back in our database table. I'll switch to debug mode now and run the robot and here we can see each URL, each file name, and each file size as it's saved off to the local hard drive and the file location is stored back to our database. The second extraction robot goes back to the inventory database and this time we're going to query for all of the HTML content. We define an area within the page as an article. We're going to have a loop that goes through every article on the page and it finds the title of the article and that's mapped into our content object down here when I pass the step. And the next attribute is the subtitle. That's mapped into the content object. And then the article date. The next step extracts the author. And then we extract the content of the article. And now that we've fully populated our content object, we're ready to store that object into the database. I'll switch to debug mode now and run the robot. And we can see all the article attributes as they're saved into the database. This robot uploads the resource files into UCM. After we log into UCM, we click Check In New. Now we query our database of resource files to populate the check-in form. We populate each of the fields in the form. We enter the name, the file name, the doc ID, the MIME type. Now we're going to set the parent folder ID. That's down here in the HTML. It's the collection ID. We're going to assign the value by replacing the tag with the value here that we see to the right. This is the value for the resource folder that's in UCM. When we pass that step, that value gets populated into the HTML. We click check in. That checks in that item. We then click check in similar and check in the next item from the database and continue until we check in all the resource files from the database. I'll switch to debug mode now and we can run the robot. We see the file name and the document ID for each file as the robot loops through the database of file names, fills out the form, and clicks the check in button for each resource file. The final robot checks in the HTML content that we extracted from the website. After we log into UCM, we click the new check-in. We then query our database of articles for each article, create a doc ID for each article, and then query the database for each attribute of the article. We now have our data object populated with the first article. We're going to now create a file name from the title of the article. So I've converted the title into a usable file name. The next step writes the HTML content of the article to a file. We can now populate the form with the attributes from the article. The name, the author, the file name of the file that we just created, the doc ID, the category, and now we're going to set the parent folder ID. This is done in the HTML. Here we can see in the HTML the collection ID value is a hidden value in the form. We're going to set that value to the folder value for the article folder in UCM. Lastly, we click the check in button. We then click check in similar and loop through our database of articles and check in all the articles into UCM. We'll go to debug mode now and run the robot. When the robot's completed running, we can see that all the articles have been copied into the target folder in UCM. 
Up in the URL, you can see the collection ID value for this folder. This is the value that we had set in the HTML of the check-in form as the folder destination. If you have any questions, or you would like to see a more in-depth content migration demonstration, please use the information below to contact Content Migration Sales at Kapow Software.